Yeah, quick, he gets what? the shot. He's down to no bullets, runs in with the knife out. No way, Kadian is trying inside. He can't no, find him for the my God. God. No, that's going to be the round. On the other side of the door, just to his left, both players are waiting. Now, Nico is checking every single corner. But to his left and to his right, Renegades are waiting. He's going to check that. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> the door on each other. <laughs> As a, I won't out aim you, but my God, can I shut the door? This, this shop is closed. <laughs> no, Sorry, sir. come back tomorrow. We're not interested. <laughs> <laughs> we do not want your goods for sale. And there's nothing Nico could do. Well, flashes are coming in to B. They've gone with a bit more tempo this time. Oh, double shot there from Kadian. Takes down Yaman Sponge. He was missing earlier, but I suppose he makes up for it. <laughs> Take him two with one bullet there. But they're going to keep pushing. They still want this B side. There's Kadian again! Oh my god! Two bullets, four people for Kadian. The damage. Kenny S all alone now as Device and Zimnix do make the rotation. That Molly will slow things down, but he hasn't got the plant in. Realizing the smoke is dissipating in CT. Oh, but he finds Zipnix straight away. And now it's a device on Kenny S. Two kills for Kenny already. Wow. And he is on point. Berry versus Sponge. Look at the timer. Just 10 seconds to go. Sponge has got to pick this one. Berry was mid-air there. He could have maybe taken him down. But he'll get the bomb plant. Buys himself some time. And takes down Berry as well. And he's on his feet as well. Sponge, amazing. He is a bit of an overwhelming Gadia. He's been left hanging here. There we go. Okay. <laughs> he doesn't want it. He refused to let go that time. We've got full armor. We have a lot of utility. And look who's around the corner. JKS is going to mow them down. That's three. Oh and Sponge comes in. JKS doing the work. And JD, I'm looking for a third kill here. See if he can top spot the face of Kirishima in the pit. Finally coming out with another gun. <laughs> and there it is. JDM taking out Kirishima. There's a smoke now keeping him out of the sight though. Can they pull this one off? There's a <gasps> kid with Bunch and Nico comes up huge. Double that with the Deagle and Kadian on his feet for that one. Lots of people voting for overpass. There was an Infermo. Should have gone for number four. Fuck. <laughs> Apologies for the swear words. Let's keep it clean. It's family show. So you're trying to get rid of a team already? Yeah, I mean, that's how you have to think in this system. I, I feel like you don't always have to put up the two strongest against each other. Sometimes you just need to el eliminate the one with the fewest lives. Stone Cold Killer, thank you very much. Yeah, and that's just going to cut this attack dead in his tracks. It was just a pistol, so no surprises there. We're in a 3v2. The CT side should not lose this, though. Sponge is in a great position. That's a teammate, Sponge. Calm down. And that's it. Renegades, that meant the world to those boys. I don't know, you seem to bring this hot weather with, with you every time you appear now. I know, it's just something with me. I'm, I am the sun man. Yeah, the sun the man. Sun man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, that was one of the worst joke I've yeah. ever pulled <laughs> off in my entire life. That was even a joke, was That was so horrible. <laughs> Peak here, any second now. Vasilian on the defuse and he's going to kill off Vasilian. Two more. Berry's got seven HP. Defuse here from Sandon. He's even in the wrong position. He's out of bullets. He's gonna try and go in for the knife, but the defuse comes down. And SK Gaming gonna win the pistol. Another crazy one. And cripple that renegade <laughs> as they just chain Nate down into middle. And well, Nico was already in there. He's gonna die off instantly almost. Oh, oh my. <laughs> Wow, all on Yam. He's gone through here. He's got a loop all the way around the back of them. He's got nine <laughs> seconds remaining. It's close range with the AWP. Already pushing through to window, but Yam is already out. He's gonna spray towards Sandin, but Sandin gets the better of him. And you can see what that means. Not gonna get a second though. The support, of course, JKS in there, but where's he going? He's gonna have to go down. Did he just fall? He fell to his death in pit. Yeah. No, that's his body there. Yeah. Did he slash kill? Because he wasn't meant to be here. It, it's possible that that was what happened, yeah. Either that or he assumes KJB has been sweeped to it up because he's rotating towards A. What? This is a wide open fight, KJB. Things starting to form up for TSM and this is a round that they really, really kind of started. Oh, oh my, oh, oh no, my no, God. No, 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 no. KJB. <gasps> Asilian, he's either the biggest mastermind in the world or just had the most lucky moment of his life. 
Well, with 15 seconds to go, he's got to pick up some pace. He's got to hope for this 1v1 up against Kerrigan, then get the bomb down thereafter. This is going to be very difficult. He doesn't have like any time to work with. The bomb pass can take five seconds alone. He's going to go for it behind the fountain. Kerrigan just going to charge him down. He's going to miss quite a few pistol shots. Kenny S, he picks what? up the kill. Kerrigan should not have, but then he gets the second. Kenny S clutches the round. And what about that shot from Kenny S? Ridiculous. I was sat backstage with their manager, and he was just like, what? Switching up to the M4, nine bullets, and they can't make the shot. And that is exactly what they needed that round. Two kills for Asilian, two for Sandon. And Apex is both looking to get a position for Spitty in an unorthodox little position out the side. Finds himself one, two, and three. And that is the start that they needed to this round. 26 seconds still on the clock. That's going to be happy down. That was a double orb set. Uh, we, we're facing... You know, the top teams, we want to face them, not like TSM. They got like big, uh, not big, you know what I mean? <laughs> family show. Yeah, family show. I can't say it, but you know, if you are the top t two in the world, I would have bigger balls. They've left the bomb in spawn here. Oh, <laughs> nearly. Oh, nearly. Oh, nearly, nearly, nearly. He's nearly. Is is a bit really nearly, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> He's got to get around the side, the little glimmer is all he needs, but Chris J lands the headshot. It's a one-on-one. -on -one. MBK, he's got a kit. He can slow it down. He needs to get a little control. The glimmer, he saw him at checkers. He's got that grenade. Not going to land on him. MBK actually got a dash to the side. I'm not too sure if Chris J realizes it. He gets it down, and he takes it to a tied game. Chris J going huge on site. You see what it means to them. They are not out of the Intel Extreme Masters yet. Wow, what a play out of them too, considering that Envious kind of knew that's exactly what was going to be going down.